Hello, good evening everyone. This is Life Issue and this is Blessing. Thank you so much for joining my channel. I just got this video. Now, I don't know if this is a staged one or if it's real. Of a Nigerian man being kicked out of the house by his white girlfriend for cheating. I'm just going to show you this video that someone sent to me. And I just couldn't help but laugh, laugh and laugh when I was watching it. You know, when it comes to side chick and affairs, the way a typical Western person will handle it and the way we Nigerian women will handle it is totally different. So Nigerians are commenting on how the white lady handled the case of her man cheating. And if it had been a black woman, how she could have handled it. So what I'm going to do now is to show you the video, you watch it, and then I'll come and I'll make my own comment. Thank you. Yeah. You know, I don't live in this country. You have this, how long have you had the farm? I came, I came to this country on Wednesday. Wednesday. And, then, and then my friend asked me to use his phone. Okay, so Wednesday. So what date? Um, I came here on Wednesday. The date? Baby, you know I can't, I can't... I can't lie to you. Yeah. you, you know, what day was Wednesday? Wednesday was on the 13th. On the 13th? Yes. So you had this on the 13th? Yes. So why on the 14th are there messages? Messages of what? I love you too. Simply. Simply Lynn. And I told her I love her. Yes. It's not, it's not my fault. You see. But you had the phone. You were using the phone from the 13th. Yes. Until now. Yes, sometimes. And the 14th. No, no, so, sometimes nothing. Sometimes my friend comes to take it and use it. He so comes maybe, to you to take your. Does he call you to let you know that he's coming to get it? Oh, baby. You know I love you. I cannot. Does he call you? Who? Your friend. Yes. To tell you that he's coming to get your phone. No, he doesn't call me. He, 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 he comes to me like this. Boom. And then he has to to take it. And then he uses it. Use it. He lives in Craigie, baby. You know I can't. So if you wanted to use it now, you're just gonna boom, come here. No. <laughs> no. Let's message Linda now then. Linda. Yeah. Lynn, simply Lynn. Let's simply. message her now. Come on. Baby, I don't know anybody Face by ID. name. Simply Lynn. Face ID. Okay. Face ID. Face ID. Face ID. Face ID. Face ID. Face ID. It's not my face. You see, the phone doesn't belong to me. So. You see, he's not opening. He's not my phone, baby. <laughs> baby, you know I love you. How can I? Put your password. The pa password. It's not my password, baby. It's not my password. Put the password. It's my friend's password. Put the password. You type twenty ten seventy eight. <laughs> okay, we're going to close it again. <laughs> and your face unlocked it. <laughs> your face unlocked it. Do you need to, do you need to, uh, just let me let me stay. Take the phone, go to Linda, off you go. Oh, so baby, I off think you go. Off you go. <laughs> oh, baby. Off you go. Off you go. Off you go. Off you go. Thank you so much for watching that video. Now, did you notice the way the man was actually begging? Saying, baby, I love you. I mean, he's been caught right-handed. The evidence are there. He could not say anything. He was just lying, like begging, like he was typically begging. And still saying, baby, I love you. And I keep saying, is it because the woman is white that he was giving her such respect? His voice was not raised. A typical Nigerian man will first of all start shouting and asking you why you actually touched his phone. That is not his your phone. You know, the way they talk to us when they are actually cheating and we cut them. He couldn't deal that with a white woman was literally trying to deny everything he lied through his nose that you did not start bleeding <laughs> oh my god i couldn't help but laugh when he was lying because you could see that he was lying. how can he say it's his friend's phone well the phone could could open using his face anyway with all this side chick all this married people issue going viral that we've been watching I wanted to show you another side of the story. The fact that the way things are handled in the Western world, Obodoyibo, is totally different from the way we handle things in Nigeria. 
we shout too much we do a lot do you see the way the white woman just walked him out of the house just get out and the man couldn't he was he left too he could there was no braggadocious there was nothing he couldn't say anything there was no egoistic no male shove nothing he couldn't say he just left and she closed that door <laughs> if that has happened in africa or if that woman let's even say that that woman was a black woman and it's still happening in london or anywhere in the western world and it's a black upon black the way the man will react the way the man will you know talk to the woman will be totally different the change when is a white person that they are dealing with the change when their girlfriend are not black i mean the way black men treat their black women is totally appalling like trash they feel as if we can take any shit from them and not say anything but they cannot make the same attitude when he's a white woman he could have talked now he could have shouted now and let me see if he will not land in the cell if the police will not come she just you know she didn't even raise her voice she just she didn't even shout oh my god that was control that was a woman that knew she knew she can do without this man she knew that she could not take this rubbish she's not depending on him for anything she can survive and she just said get out i keep saying it all this side cheek wahala that we get and the woman is in that relationship dying and killing herself is because of the fact that you need that man in your life you need that money you cannot do it on your own. You can't. You can't take your children. You can't take your children because you cannot take care of them. But did you see how many children that woman was with, and she just couldn't care, and she walked him out. I mean, it's time we start reflecting on our life as an African woman, the queen that we are. Are we being treated as queen, or are we being made mockery of? What is our self worth? What is our value? I mean, I watched a video earlier. I'm going to show you the video, just a bit of it, where a woman went to a hotel to fight the husband's side chick and the husband. Oh, hey, don't leave. Husband, why fuck me, husband? Hotel. Why would you want to insult yourself? Why would you want to humiliate yourself this way? Why don't you start taking the power out from the hands of the man? Be self reliant, be more industrious have your own money and then they will respect you because they know you can walk them out anytime because they know that you can walk out of that relationship anytime you don't have to be insulted and be treated as nothing because you're depending on them why would you go to a, a hotel to fight for a man to insult yourself now if you want to watch the full video of that nigerian woman in a hotel you need to go to my instagram the full video is there and it, i can't show you everything in youtube here yeah. uh, they will ban my video but that video is horrible the woman actually fought and disgraced the other woman it was horrible it's like every day or every week there is a new case about side chick like this 2020 is all about side chick for oh. But really, is it worth it? It's not better for you to walk out if your man is insulting you, disrespecting your marriage vow, than for you to disgrace yourself this way. I don't know. You decide. All right, thank you for watching. Just wanted to bring this video to you. When I saw it, what do you guys think about it? Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. God bless you.